It's easy to record in GarageBand using the presets. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tweak the presets and use Waves plugins to further customize your sound and expand your creative options. To customize the GarageBand presets, click on Smart Controls. Here you will see basic controls over the effects and the preset. To really dial in your sound, click on the Inspector button in the far left side of the Smart Controls window. If you hover your mouse over the plugin, you will see three sections. The section to the far left looks like a power button and turns the plugin on and off. If you click on the section in the middle, it opens the plugin up so that you can change any of the parameters. When you click on the section on the far right, you will see the list of plugins that are available to you. You can also replace any of these plugins with plugins that you have upgraded your system with, such as the Waves plugins. If you did not start with a GarageBand preset, simply just load the Waves plugins to create the sound you desire. Each track in GarageBand has its own inspector window where you can load new plugins to give you custom control over every instrument and vocal track. GarageBand also has a master section that allows you to add plugins to affect the overall sound of your final mix. Typically, you have a master compressor, EQ to do some final sweetening of the sound, and a limiter to make the track louder without peaking and distorting. Those are the three most common on the master bus, but feel free to experiment and use whatever makes your mix sound better.